Welcome back. Episode four. And uh, I decided to go get this trailer so we could start episode four with this. Level four. So the uh, this truck handled it. It was uh, a lot of winching. Um, highway tires in that mud was pretty rough. Um, I used a lot of gas. I actually brought some other vehicles to some places, uh, particularly another vehicle that brought this one some fuel. I was really low. I was down to 10 gallons. Um, so it was a bit of a challenge. Um, but we did bring this trailer out. Um, it's one that has a single bit what is on this one? Bricks, I believe. Yes, bricks. I can see it from here. So we're going to take these to the farm. And the reason why we're going to do that is we're going to just start a quest to turn these in, get rid of these bricks. But we're going to keep this trailer because we got rid of that one that was the exact same trailer already. And we might need one on this, on this map. I don't know yet. Um, so let's activate that. This one's actually a contract. And it has us bring two bricks. That's okay. Because the other vehicle that we have out and about is going to bring the other brick. So let's get this. We're going to go up towards the gas station. Not this, not this gas station. The other gas station. Instead of sort of going the low way through the mud to the farm, we're going to take this sort of up the hill fill up on gas at that uh, mission trailer and uh, get ourselves to the farm with this trailer turn that in and then we're going to swap trucks so I hope everybody's enjoying the series so far um, I know I am this is uh, it's a lot better than the campaign mode in my opinion now there's there's also a new game plus mode that you can play which I thought about doing um, maybe, who knows, maybe down the road, maybe I'll play a new game plus, but, uh, it allows you to select each and every setting. So like if I wanted trailers to be able to be sold, I could sell them for a specific amount or none, nothing at all. Like this mode, um, you can make it. So each individual option is either on or off and you can actually make it harder than hard mode, um, by increasing costs. Uh, but you can also make it somewhere in between hard mode and normal campaign mode, um, which is probably what I would do. I would do things like, um, I feel like paying to move. Now, if you use it, obviously, to move it from one garage in Michigan, for say, per se, to another garage in Michigan, I feel like that's kind of exploiting it a little bit, but that is cheaper. That is an option that you can do now in hard mode. But feel like paying 3500 to move it to another region when you are done you have completed a region so if you have a 100 percent rating on that region um i don't feel like there should be a cost i feel like that's like if you're gonna move your entire fleet over i get it you know you gotta real life you have to pay shipping but if you complete one zone all the way and you don't exploit it. You hold yourself accountable. I think it would be fair to say, take all of your vehicles to the next zone. And then same rule applies. If you're not done, you have to pay, right? So if you want to move vehicles back and forth, if you want to go per se, get the Taiga, for example, uh, which is the one of the better off-road trucks, at least to start the game with. All right, so this, oops, come on. This is the farm exit, but we're going to just go up the hill here, grab some gas, and then we're going to go. But yeah, I think it's, I think it would be sort of neat to uh, customize your experience. There's, there's like uh, the ability to change, you know, longer days. Um, you can have a day time all the time if you want. I um, thought it was kind of a neat uh, option. But yeah, so far, hard mode has been a lot of fun. 
What I might start doing is a little bit more prep, though. Um, I don't want to uh, make it too boring. Um, a lot of travel time. And I decided I would try out a little bit of prep on this map, and it, we'll see how it works out. Like I said, I kind of went and got this trailer. Or not that I did get this trailer, too, but I got the other trailer for that mission. Because it was exactly the 240 experience that we needed. Um, I did take a look at the price on the loading crane for this vehicle. So loading cranes, $5,700. Um, it's $150 per load, right? So you have somewhere like 32, I think it is, loads has to pay for it. Now, there is more than 32 loads in Michigan. However, that involves time. Um, I'm also not very good with the crane. Um, it's kind of, I mean, it's not terrible, but it just it adds a lot of time. And I just don't really like doing it. And I thought of it as more of like a money management, um, you know, making this more into a money management thing, you know, where I want to buy an upgrade that's, you know, 15,000, let's say, but I need to get so many contracts to do that. And the contracts are going to cost me, you know, to load four items, it's going to cost me $600. So I'm going to lose $600 in the management of that contract. So I think I'm going to play it that way. I need to park this off to the side. Get you out of the way. So we're going to keep this trailer. But yeah, that's that's my thought. I think I'm going to keep I'm going to keep just manually loading for now, at least for Michigan. Um, it is more cost effective to buy it and use it. But it's just it's a lot of fuel. It's a lot of running around that I just don't really want to do. OK, so this task, I wanted to just stop here. We're going to stop right here, turn the engine off. And when you actually go into the task, it tells you how many attempts you have left. So there's actually five attempts left on this particular contest. Um, and as you see here, if you do it in under six minutes, you get 3,700 and 340 experience. So you can do that five times. Now you have to pay the auto loading fee of two pieces of cargo. So it's 300, you lose 300 in the, but it's still $3,400 profit and 340 experience for essentially six minutes round trip because you have to go there takes about three minutes come back and then do that over and over so i'm not going to do that on camera but this is something that i'm going to do and there's going to be an increase in money in the next time um and possibly levels so i would like to do this um particularly this one and this truck is going to be the one that's do it so i'm going to leave it here However, we're going to switch to the GMC, which is parked by another trailer. Now, this is our two-wheel drive truck. But this is what I said it's good at. Is the low saddle trailers. So we are going to borrow this trailer. This happens to be one that you find that has a whole bunch of stuff on it that you can use. And I'm going to show you that. So this we're going to take to the farm as well. Um, this is the vehicle I brought out to... Um, assist in bringing some fuel to the fleet star because it was very low so this one's got you know a little over half a tank yet which will easily get it to the farm yeah this has five pieces of cargo on it there's some service spare parts some vehicle parts and one thing of bricks that we need for that mission That's what we're going to do. We're going to bring this one thing of bricks to unload one spot on this trailer, and then it's going to go somewhere else because I know there's a bridge that's out, or I'm sorry, a rock slide that's up on the east side and use some of the service spare parts on it. And then we're going to do some scouting because we are level four already. Try and not crash here. And uh, we can go ahead and buy our tires right away. Um, so that's definitely the next thing on the list. Today's goal was 
to get that level four, whichever way we got it. And like I said, I decided to do a little bit of off camera. And then we're going to just do this one more quest with the big truck. Right after we drop this off at the farm. We're going to take the low side to the farm, too. I don't know if this can make it up the hill, but we're going to try. So there's there's a path that you go down that we just took with the fleet star. You go down the hill from the gas station to the farm. We're going to try and take this thing up the opposite way. I'm pretty sure it can do it even with two wheel drive and highway tires. It's just it's the added weight of this trailer over the axle really gives it a lot more traction than it normally has. Like even through here, we should be relatively okay getting through here. Whereas this truck, even with, you know, pulling, pulling a single trailer or using the sideboard bed, having a couple pieces of cargo in a sideboard bed. Uh oh, let's not get stuck in the rut. And let's not hit that. So we had to stop in this, and we could still just get moving again. So that's proof enough for me that this truck is uh, definitely capable of using this long five-slot flatbed trailer. And that's before a tire upgrade, even. Let's see if we can make it up the hill. It's going to be one less piece of cargo, so it'll be a little bit lighter. Um, I'm not really comfortable because it is not a sideboard trailer. I don't think I want to unpack this cargo either unless I absolutely have to. Because it's just a very high possibility of knocking one of these things off and I need them to uh, do the next quest. Because it requires two service spare parts, which is these big boxes on the front. Alright, so here's our one brick. Okay, so now it's got two bricks. And there is a metal beam at the garage that we can go get another day. We're going to kind of put, after this one bridge, my plan is to kind of put these tasks and missions on hold. Um... I was thinking about what I said the other day about scouts and going to get upgrades, going to get vehicles, that kind of thing. And there's there's a couple of missions that we're going to have to do to just kind of open pathways. A um, couple of bridges that we need to bring the probably the fleet star to go do. Um, so we'll have to take that to Smithville Dam. Open. There's a rock slide that we need to get rid of. This makes it easier getting through. So let's see if we can make it up this hill. Then there's a, there's actually a, a wooden bridge that's out. Uh -oh. All right. Well, we kept we kept moving. We just had to downshift in first. I should have been hitting shift there. It wouldn't have lurched to a stop like that if I would have hit shift and let it downshift early. So yeah, there's two more missions, two more tasks in the next zone. That kind of open up some bridges for us so we can get scout vehicles easily to the next three zones because the following zone you don't really need to all right are we gonna make it through this mud tires are spinning we do have winch points if we need them we made it but that's my plan. I'd like to do some scouting. I'd like to get all the upgrades. I'd like to get as many of the vehicles as I can. Uh, there's some vehicles, including one on this map, that um, is another two-wheel drive truck that we're not going to prioritize getting. However, we are going to get it, and we're not going to sell it. And there's also one on the next map as well. What we're going to do with those is at level four you get a fuel tank add-on that you can put on the back of these trucks 
And that's how you move fuel from one zone to the next or from one region to the next. So what we do with that is we're going to, once we get that yanked out of there, or we might just recover it. We might pay for the recovery. I, I haven't decided yet because it, it needs full repairs as well. Um, it's it's like completely broken in in a marsh. And uh, I plan on seeing it this episode. We might at least discover it just for the experience. But you have to even pull it a little bit out of the marsh. So we're definitely going to need a scout with mud tires. But yeah, once we get that... Um, either recovered to the garage and repaired or pulled to the garage and repaired because we're i'm just gonna pay for the repairs regardless um because it's easier than trying to find another trailer uh, our our repair trailer is good to go but it doesn't have any tires left in it and we don't have a restocking spot on this map for it so either way you're gonna have to pay for some repairs and uh so that kodiak which is the one that's up here we're just going to, I, I don't know, I think we'll probably just, we'll take a look and see how much it is to recover it once we get to it. And then that is going to become a fuel tanker truck. Because again, it's, even though it's two wheel drive, you can throw a fuel tanker on it with a bunch of fuel in it and drive it from one zone to the next and just have it be a mobile fuel. So I'm never going to sell those trucks. Maybe, maybe a few regions in. Alright, so this is what we needed these service spare parts for. We got a little bit more money and a little bit more experience. Uh, now this is the tricky part, is backing this trailer up. Now this is because it's a, a fifth wheel. It's a hell of a lot easier to back up than that other trailer. It still backs up like a normal trailer, but I gotta just not rub this preferably not cause any damage rubbing this at least I am still rubbing it but a little bit of a rough turn but so now we have three slots open on this trailer that we could use to like go get more cargo for things but i think there's possibly the need for more of these so we might hold off on that just for now but i'm just gonna park this up ahead um i'm just gonna get it out of the way and then we're going to do the much anticipated scouting uh, now unfortunately it's starting in the dark but that's okay Alright, so that's just going to stay right there for now. We're going to go into the garage, and we're going to spend some money. Um, so again, we're not going to use this engine yet. Um, I feel like I'm going to keep it for a little while, just in case I have something that's like a really short mission that I don't care about the fuel on, that I need a bunch of power. Um, however, now we can buy these off-road tires, which we're going to do. So it's $4,200. It's more than one of those missions, actually. But you can sell it back, sell these back for $500. So it's, it's really $3,600, right? No. I can't math today. Um, I think we're going to buy the... We're always going to use this. It's never going to go away. We do have the excess funds as of right now. We're not going to go get the Taiga. Um, so this is kind of a waste of money. Um, you get one spare wheel. But it's just, it's not enough to actually repair anything to full. I don't know. I don't see it being worth 2100 But that's one of the things that opened up at level 4 as well. Um, there is, obviously different things you can buy like technically this has got more a little more clearance than the stock bumper if you look at it 
that one doesn't, but this one, here's the stock bumper. I don't know. I don't really want to buy cosmetic things just yet, but uh, there is cosmetic things you can buy. There's stickers that are free too. Um, so this is going to be good to go. And then this one we're doing just tires on again. Same thing, 4,200. And we're going to sell the highway tires. Oops, except I just equipped them. All right, so sell. 42 minus 500 is 3,700. So that's how much it actually costs. Okay, so we're going to take this one out first. Um, only because I'm going to use it for a very brief mission. Something that we got right in the very beginning of the game. We're going to go do this one and grab this watchtower that's been uh, not... Not gotten for some time. But technically, I could bring it back. Which maybe we'll do that. So there's another upgrade I'd like to get, but I think I'm going to put it in the uh, in the scout, in the international scout. And it's just past the gas station. So maybe we'll bring this back and take it to the gas station. I don't know. We'll see. There is sort of the shortcut through the farm that we can take it through, so we could do it that way. Now, there's a couple other missions here that we might do. That's kind of why I was thinking of leaving this truck here. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. If we have time, at the end of the episode, we're going to go rescue that truck that was sitting in the swampy farm. Because it's the same truck as this, but now this one's got better tires and it's lifted. So this is the one that I damaged up a bunch as well, which is kind of the reason why I decided to take this one on this mission. Because there is a chance that I'm going to roll this truck. Um, this is a, a very steep off-road trail. That would then require me to bring the scout up here to rescue it if it's not on its feet. Now, sometimes you can get lucky if you roll a truck it will roll all the way over and end up on its feet, and you can just start it again and go. So that is what I'm... Ideally, that's going to be what I hope for, is if I do roll it, it rolls all the way. But we're going to try and not roll it. It's just very steep to get up the hill, and then it's very steep to get back down the hill. You just have to be very careful with it. Um... Be ready with your winch button, because I don't have the autonomous winch yet. I could have bought it. Um, we have enough money. But I just, I don't really want to buy it just yet. Okay, so here's our last watchtower on this side. And then there's two ways to get up here. Um, either way is pretty sketchy. So we're going to go this way. Ooh, come on. All right, let's low gear this for this part. Keep it slow. A lot of a lot of tilting. Um, not a lot of good winch points. All these trees just fall over. All right, let's kick it into auto again. a little bit more wheel speed and then we got to make a right up here where it flattens out and then I have two choices I can go forward down the hill once we get up here or I can try and back down the hill here which is super dangerous or I can try and turn around and then forward down the hill which is much less dangerous which is, I think, what we're going to do. So I'm going to... Okay. Alright, so we 
got kind of lucky. And... So where is the side one? Okay, we need this winch point. <laughs> All right. So we're going to try and slide the left side out. Hopefully this works. And I don't rip this tree down. It did start. We didn't tip it all the way over. Actually, I think this is a very good screenshot. Just like that. All right. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Okay. Um, I got to get it a little bit more. I'm going to, I'm going to go sideways again. Can we get down on our wheels? Almost. Okay. We got it. We got it. We didn't need to recover. We didn't need to bring a, a rescue vehicle. Okay. Now, we need to do that again. <laughs> um, so yeah, a little bit of a little bit of damage, a little bit of mud. But that's kind of why I brought this truck, because it's already kind of damaged. Oop, I knocked a light out, too. Alright, so we're going to start to turn a little bit here. Alright, now let's go low. And if I just, like, gun it, I should be able to maintain momentum and stay. Okay, good. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Perfect. All right, that worked out. We did not fully crash. We didn't really cause any actual damage to the vehicle. Just some cosmetic damage. Uh, well, I don't like going down this rock, but that's kind of the way we're going. Let's go really slow. Ooh, okay. All right, we're down. We're into a relatively safe area. All right, so we're just going to bring this down the hill and park it. And it's now daytime. We're going to swap vehicles to the scout and go get some upgrades. Go get the rest of the upgrades and the rest of the watchtowers. Now that everything's open. All right. Um, yeah, that worked out. Because I don't I don't think I need the SnowRunner gearbox. The SnowRunner gearbox is going to be the next upgrade we're going for. Um, I was going to go get it with this truck and then equip it before I took the Scout out. But I don't think I need it. I think we're okay. In the, uh, I, I also play other games, obviously, like uh, World of Warcraft. And uh, one of the terms in there is not even close. And uh, that, that was not even close. We were totally fine that entire time. Okay, so let's just park this guy at the farm. Or it can just be right off the road here, too. Either way. Right off the road here works. Not even close. And 
and let's head to the garage and pick up our scout that has fresh tires on it as well. Alright, this one we need to refuel. Uh, because we had the we bought the add-on that carries a bunch of fuel, but there is no fuel in it, so we just have to fill it up. And some uh some magical fuel canisters, fuel containers will appear on this riff rack. Refuel. Is that what I wanted? Refuel. There we go. Right, there we go. So now we have basically 57 gallons of fuel to uh, do some exploring in this thing. Um, our first goal is we're going to stop up here and just top off. And then we go over here. And then we come down here. And our first upgrade is like right in this by this little pond here. So this thing, I've been told that this thing gets even more tippy with this roof rack on it. So we are going to try and be careful. It's kind of why I wanted this snow runner gearbox first, but because it, it slows you down. But we're just going to hopefully drive careful. Not make more not even close moments. So speaking of cost of add-ons, while we're navigating here, getting stuck on little boulders, the uh, so the price of getting the Taiga, if I were to transfer a vehicle like the Fleet Star, thirty-five hundred to get the Fleet Star there, thirty-five hundred to get it back, so seven thousand. If I want to bring it back from Tamir. And then another 3,500, so 10,500 to bring the Taiga back once I get it. However, now that we're level 4, I'll have to look in the garage to see the exact price of it. But I believe it's $4,000 uh, to buy the maintenance add-on. And we need almost all of it. Um, which is okay because when you take the maintenance add-on off on hard mode, you lose all the stuff in it. So you kind of want to use it all up anyhow. But we'd have to like basically take the flatbed off of it, um, put on maintenance add-on. Oh, I'm on the fuel roof rack, okay. Um, so you'd have to take the maintenance add-on off and then put something back on, you'd lose whatever's left in it, but it costs $4,000, but you can use that maintenance add-on again at a later date. So it's, it's reusable, you just have to refill it, which costs, I think 1,600, 1,800 maybe with tires. Um, but yeah, we could, we could yank the Taiga out of there, 10,500 plus 4,000, so 14,500. Um, and then I'd want to repair the Taiga probably because it's like completely mangled. That's sort of how you find most trucks in this game is, looks like they've been like rolled 17 times. And... So it would cost another, I think, 1500 or 2500 possibly to repair the body on the bigger truck. So let's say it's 2500 So that's essentially 17000 And I only have... I only have 17000 right now after buying tires. So that would basically take all of my money, which would leave me no money to put the very good all-terrain tires. Which you need another 4200 for. Actually, I think it might be 5,100 on that truck. So let's just say 5,000. Um, so we're already at 17,000, 5,000. That'd be 22,000. Um, now, the truck itself, once you find it, you can buy another one, of course, because you can always, like, once you unlock it, you can always buy the vehicle from the store. Is 75,000. So in the grand scheme of things, it's much less to just go get it. Um, but I, I still think we're just going to go, we're going to just get it when we, the very first thing we do when we go to Taiga is going to be getting that truck. Ooh, come on. 
is hung up on this bush. Okay, so the, here's the snow runner transmission. Now we can equip it in this truck, but we have to go back to the garage to do it, which we're not going to do right now. And let's not tip. Okay, slow. Slow. So yeah, we just have to be careful with this thing, but now with these tires, it's extremely capable Just have to try and stay out of really deep mud pits because we don't have stay out of water stay out of deep mud pits we don't have a snorkel and it doesn't have a lifted suspension so it can get hung up on rocks and stuff but as long as you drive carefully and drive in the smart paths this thing is going to be a really good exploration scout because like i said we're sipping fuel here uh we gotta go up this way Come on. Engine's a little weak. Sometimes you have to winch it up really steep hills. Um, the SnowRunner gearbox would have helped with that. But that's going to be probably the end of this episode is taking us back to the garage to re-equip it. Either that or I'll do it off camera. Next episode, this thing will have the SnowRunner gearbox in it for sure. All right. So this is that bridge we repaired before, but off to the right is uh, a scout or a tower that we skipped. So we're going to go and get that tower. I just passed the road, that road right there. A little muddy, a little bit uphill. There's a spot in here. For some reason, I always damage my trucks in here. Okay, let's go. Come on, you can do it. Yeah, this thing struggles going up hills. We need that engine. Unfortunately, I did look it up, and it is the bigger engine that actually increases the power in this thing is in uh, Island Lake, which is the third map. And that is also why I wanted to do some scouting next. So like I said, next episode is probably going to be kind of clearing the Smithsville Dam bridges and a little bit of Smithsville Dam scouting if we have time. And then it's going to be all scouting for three maps. Getting watchtowers, getting upgrades, possibly getting vehicles if we can. Um, we might not get the ones. There's two vehicles in Smithsville Dam as well. Um, very good vehicles. Uh, one you use a lot, and one you don't use a lot. But uh, again, that one we don't use a lot is another one of those two-wheel drive vehicles that's going to end up being a fuel carrier. And even if it literally just goes to the gas station here um, to get gas, so there's, there's a cost-effective breakpoint of getting fuel. So it's obviously $3,500 to tra transfer a vehicle back and forth, right? And it's two ways. So if you come here and then you go back to wherever you are, it's 7,000. However, if the fuel in the zone is greater than, I think, like 9 or $10 a gallon, something to that effect, it's $6 per liter versus, I think it's 10 maybe $10 a gallon. I'll have to look it up again. Um, but there is a math breakpoint of in zones that have expensive gas, which is most of them, it is cheaper to pay the $7,000 to transfer a fuel truck to here, to this zone, to uh, Black River, go to that $2 a gallon gas station, fill up an entire tanker of gas, and then transfer it back. So that's why we're just going to keep fuel trucks on hand, because even if we transfer, we can still get it out of the garage. Right? And that means that there's fuel at the garage, no matter what. I have to remember where to go here. We want to go left. Left and say hello to our trailer and GMC. And we gotta go this way up the hill to get this watchtower. And then there's another upgrade over once we unlock this. And it's actually an upgrade for the Fleet Star. It's the first engine upgrade.
So that's going to be the t the the plan is we're going to try and use the scout, do all of the scout things. Get upgrades, get watchtowers, maybe do some scout quests. There's some really neat scout quests on this side of the map, actually. One we already unlocked called King of the Hill. And then there's another one that is on this side of the map that kind of feel like I need two vehicles. I guess we'll have to see. We're definitely going to have to use the um, the Chevy for it because it's got the snorkel. There's there's one of the barrels that you have to knock over that's pretty deep water to get to it. I don't think this thing will make it, so... It's possible that we're going to bring both scout vehicles for that one. Let's put it that way. Like this one, I might just leave up here. To be like a support slash tip the Chevy back on its side. Slash give fuel to the Chevy. All right, we're out of that. Yeah, so far we've only used five gallons of fuel, so... If I really wanted to, be sure this thing has got quite a bit of fuel in it. Let's see. And we're like right by the gas station, so it's, yeah, oh yeah. I'm taking your five gallons, thanks. That actually is my, well, I guess it's not really my fuel. We're, st we're still on borrowed fuel. But uh, that's okay. Game mechanics, right? Yeah, we fixed that bridge to the left, or the uh, rock slide to the left up here with that truck, but um, this is the shortest way. Okay. Oh, I gotta go all-wheel drive, that's why I'm not going. I'm just gonna keep it in low. This is a steep hill, and this thing, like I said, lacks a little bit of power. But it's doing just fine. And like I said, these tires made all of the difference. All right, there we go. I could have just knocked over that fence, but I was being nice. They didn't have any fuel to steal, so I wasn't going to leave, you know wrecking everything. Ooh, okay. That was scary. Had a little jump there. Went over a little bump. Alright, so now we discovered the upgrade location. Now, if you're new to the map, now this is this is another topic that I wanted to bring up. Um, I obviously intimately know this map. I've done it at least a dozen times. Um, I really enjoy Michigan. It's definitely one of the fun, you know, starter maps. I've done Alaska. I've done Tamir. Um, I've done a lot of the expansion maps as well. But a, a lot of what I did in the in my saves that I've restarted over and over. Um, I even have the game on PS4, so I play it. Uh, you know, do some couch snow runner every now and then. So I have hours in on that version as well. But a lot of what I've done on the normal version of the game is just go scouting and collect upgrades, collect vehicles, and then I just kind of don't do all the contracts on the map. Um, so there'll be a lot of firsts coming up for me of, you know, I haven't done this this particular task before or that kind of thing. So, I mean, it's going to be I'm using some knowledge that I have of these maps and this map in particular of where things are, but it's going to be become a little bit more of a mystery which is going to get a little more entertaining for you but um, I'm going to have to do some research and use map runner and that kind of thing so there's going to be a lot of planning ahead of time for these episodes to uh, figure out what I'm going to do and kind of plan a route so I'm not wasting fuel um, like once we get into the next zone for example is a lot of snow uh, so it's going to be I kind of know where stuff is but I didn't do a ton of the missions um, I didn't do a ton of the contracts. 
And then there's the topic of logging. So every map has logging. Um, so the... Let's make sure we get through this water. The uh, crane for loading cargo is $5,700 per vehicle, per crane that you buy. You can swap it from one vehicle to the next like you can everything else. Um, but then once... If you buy the loading crane for logs, seventy nine hundred, I believe, and only certain vehicles can use it. Um, but again, it is a it is an add on that you can take with you to other maps. So I mean, eventually it pays for itself. But on this map, uh, the loading crane for logs does definitely does not pay for itself. In fact, it's usually a net loss. Because the trailers and the add-ons are very expensive. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to do the, the logging missions. If I do, it's going to be the very last thing that I do. Um, so we're going to finish the entirety of Michigan minus logging. Um, and if I do the logging, I might... There's, there's a thing that I've tried, and I'm probably going to do it again, where you use a long saddle low saddle sideboard trailer and you take your crane truck and then you take so you take a crane truck essentially with the the trailer to load the logs into right and then you load a bunch of non-packed logs into that sideboard trailer and do all of the logging missions and i might just do that at the end not on camera because people have seen logging missions other people have done the logging missions they're very very long um very boring and if it, either that or i'm gonna have to like speed time to 10 times and like turbo speed through it um because it's it's boring for me even um so it's possible that we're gonna skip logging missions I haven't decided yet, but um, there's there's a good possibility that I'm just not going to do them, especially in this map, because you lose money on it. Okay, so we have all of the upgrades on this map. This is that several... In fact, let's go get that vehicle. Let's go discover that vehicle. Let's get our experience for it. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to leave this scout out here. I don't even know if this thing can tow that thing out. We're going to find out. So this is the lumber mill. Or I'm sorry, the log station. Um, we know where the lumber mill is already. But this is where you have to get logs from, and then you have to take them to all four maps. Um, now there is a medium log station on the other maps. And then there's one other large or long log station on the last map where you have to kind of use that one and use this one. But there's a lot of travel time coming back and forth with a trailer. If you do them one set of logs at a time. Um, so that's kind of why. Kind of figured we're just going to skip it. I know I said I wanted to do 100%. I might still do it. I might just do it not on camera at the very end, once we reach the end of Michigan. Lose $20,000 at the end of Michigan, and it's actually probably more than that. You do gain a lot of money from those missions, and you gain a ton of experience, but at that point, by the time you're done with Michigan, you don't really need it. Usually you're somewhere in the 18, 19 level range which is most of everything. There's not really much else you can get. I mean, there's some unlocks up to 30, but that's the cap is 30. All right, so right over here is the Kodiak. This is fuel vehicle number one. <laughs> fuel transport vehicle. We have... $17,000, we're not going to gain a bunch of money from this point on getting upgrades and watchtowers because you don't actually get money for that stuff. All right, so let's see if I can get this thing out of here. I can't attach to it. Uh, 
I could definitely pull this thing. I'm impressed. Ooh, I'm kind of getting dragged into the water. Okay, we got it discovered. I don't think I'm going to get it out of there. So let's see. Let's just switch into it. All right, so yeah, it is fully broken. Empty on gas. Uh... 50, 50, 160, 50, 160, 180, 50, and another 50. So yeah, it's like super broken. All right, so how much is it to recover this thing? Ah, that stings. Uh, so it's 5,000 plus repairing the body and damage which is the same price so it would repair the body and the damage all for 2500 i think so 7500 plus another i think four or five thousand for the fuel tanker which would bring us pretty low a little a little uncomfortably low on money because there is a chance we're gonna need to buy one trailer on our scouting adventures we're gonna we might buy a scout fuel trailer to just drag along with us for fuel um because there isn't really i guess there is one in island lake if we can make it to island lake we might just steal the uh those and then we can fill up on any big trailers along the way um i think there's actually two in island lake uh, i think we're just gonna leave it here now that the vehicle's discovered, I can hop in this anytime. And because we don't need a fuel truck right this second. And it can just stay here in the lake. And we'll go we'll come get it later with the vehicle, or maybe we'll pay five thousand to recover it. Alright, so let's just get this thing out of the mud. And then I think end the episode we're gonna switch back to the Chevy and we're gonna go do some mudding in that farm we're gonna go grab and rescue that truck there's actually two trucks over there that we can rescue we'll see if we have time maybe we'll get the other one too that one's a little harder the second one's a little bit harder to get but Come on. I just want you on dry ground over here. Which is right about here, so that's good enough. And this is where you're going to live for now. Alright, let's switch to the Chevy. Okay, so there's a couple ways to go get this truck that's parked in the lake. Um, for now, what we're going to do... So we're going to at least go in the easy way. I don't know if we're going to drag it out the easy way or if we're going to drag it out the hard way. Because the hard way is sort of back towards the farm. So there's the truck. If you go past it, there is a path over here. That's a little bit easier to get in. You just kind of have to stay off to the side because there's like a big huge mud pit right there in the path. But if you drag it back through this way, it's not too bad. Just going through this field is the hardest part. This field is mucky. But like I was saying, I've done this quest probably at least 10 times on various repeats of saves and I like to start over. Um, I don't know why. I get to a point where I start over, and I'm definitely not going to do that again, but... This one's going to... We're going to go all the way, as much as far as I can go. And Season 11 is coming out soon, too. There's a, a new map with some new vehicles, and... Might play that in my normal save. Just because I'm, I'm excited to see it and try out the new... There's a new scout truck that's available. It's massive. Okay, let's track this. So this vehicle is not damaged to the point where it doesn't drive. So you can actually turn its engine on 
and have it help you get itself out of here. So we can go this way, which we could make it this way, or we can go that way, back out where we came. I think we're going to go the hard way. I'm like 99% sure of this, Ooh, except I just unhooked. I wanted to press that. Have it help me. If you have the engine on and you kind of avoid this really deep stuff and take out this farmer's fence. Oh, except I'm not connected to the right spot. We want to go from here, sir. Again, the snow runner gearbox would help with this, but I don't think I want to put it in this one just yet. It's like $5,700 to buy another one. So the one that we found is free, but it's only one. Um, but it unlocks it so you can buy it for other trucks. So um, I don't think we're going to start spending money yet. Um, the money, the flow of money starts to significantly increase as you start doing missions again. And like I said, I might just to supplement my income, do those missions, do the... Uh, the farm delivery missions off cam um get a little bit of money get a little bit of experience maybe get to level six yeah that was easy okay so one trick with this before you turn it in again this is uh borrowing but this truck has some gas in it that we are towing so before we carry it over the threshold. I'm going to turn the engine off. I'm going to turn my engine off and I'm going to borrow some of the fuel that's in it to refuel my truck. <laughs> and we are good to go. So we're full again. It's empty. They didn't tell us we needed to bring it with gas in it. They just told us we needed to recover the truck. So the next one we're going to do is actually another highway. I believe it's another GMC. But this is experience and money. Doing these is these are kind of scout missions. Now, this one you're technically you could do with an off road truck or even like the fleet star as well. A little heavier vehicle. Oops. Not paying attention, smashing into things, causing more damage. That's okay. This is the damage truck. This is the beater. Okay, so this is very muddy back here, but uh, off in the distance there, you can see a GMC parked in the swamp. Now, it's a little deceiving. This, again, the path is pretty muddy. The... Out here where there's water is actually kind of okay. It's not terrible. This truck can do it. With these tires, you get a lot more uh, confidence in your vehicles. <laughs> and this one also has fuel in it, so we're going to turn its engine on. Have it help us get out of here. Just got to get it moving, get it rolling, try and not get stuck on these logs. Like I said, this area that has water in it is deceptively not muddy. One would think otherwise. But you can pull pretty good through here, except for the last little bit. You want to stay away from that mud hole. We got to cross onto the through the mucky stuff here. To get up the hill. This is going to be the hardest part. Uh oh. Alright, let's go low. Yeah, that thing's only two wheel drive because it's just like our GMC and it's got highway tires. Alright, let's get up here a little bit. And then reattach.
Come on. Now I'm like super close. Did what I wanted though, it moved the GMC. This is a little easier with the Fleet Star. But this truck can do it. That's how I figured we're just gonna bring this guy out here with its new off road tires and put them to work. Okay, let's do the same thing. Up here a little bit. Let it kind of drag us backwards. Come on. But yeah, this truck we put the snorkel on just in case we get into some deep stuff. It's there. Come on, you can make it. All right, let's get up the hill again. Got to do a little bit of leapfrogging. Get it to a little bit drier pavement and then it tends to have better grip. These are not mud tires, these are off-road tires, so they work good on you know, dirt and slight loosely packed mud, but not very deep mud like what's in out here, you know. They're only good. They're better than highway tires. We're getting nighttime again. Alright, so a couple of scout missions done. We're just gonna get up here to the farm and drop this guy off and uh, again borrow some of its fuel. I think we can, uh, we might even borrow some of its fuel. Nah, I don't know how much is in. No, we just filled up the, the fleet starts full. I guess we could steal like five gallons from this thing and put it in the fleet star, but. Okay, if you stay off to the left here again, a little bit better than going on the on the main path. All right, let's see how much fuel is in this thing when we get up here. So yeah, next time, I think um, we're going to just start doing more scouting, which is going to involve, we're going to do a little bit of prep work. Turn off my engine, check the fuel. How much fuel do we have? Oh gosh, we have a lot of fuel. Uh, yeah, we're going to... Come on over here, Fleet Star. Yeah, you have your five gallon short. You can borrow a little bit of fuel as well. okay we're gonna be going up to the gas station with this thing anyhow but I'm still gonna take advantage of the fact that there is some uh, some extra fuel around all right let's get back in here I would like to winch this truck Still got fuel in it to help me pull it across the line here. All right, so twelve hundred and fifty dollars, hundred and ninety experience, and uh, some free fuel. Um, so we're gonna just park this guy over here. We're gonna pretend that we live here and uh, say hello, friends, and park right here for the episode. Uh, next time is gonna be, like I said, we're gonna. The plan is 
we are open, right? We have everything open. There's no more bridges that need to be repaired. There's just regular missions and then contract missions that need to be done in this zone. And then there's a couple of scouting missions. One more one more watchtower that we'll get when we start doing the scouting missions. Um, we have a, a spare vehicle in the lake. Um, this is a whole nother fuel tanker that we can get if we get low on fuel. Um, but we're going to bring some fuel with us. Um... I'm probably going to take the Fleet Star to Smithville Dam, and we're going to... Oh, I can't even see it yet. I haven't gone there. Um, so anyhow, in Smithville Dam, there's a mission that we need to pay a couple bucks to load some cargo and clear a rock slide that allows us access to the other two zones, basically. Um, we don't actually need... With the scout vehicle, we can get down that side and get to the other two zones. And then we can do all the exploration, um, and that's going to be a couple episodes worth. So we're going to do watchtowers, basically a couple of bridges, and then uh, scouting, scouting, scouting. So that's the plan. Um, we're going to do lots of scouting, maybe some more crashing, um, possibly some recovering, and a whole lot of fuel management because... I don't know. We'll see. I might, I might uh, recover this vehicle and make it into a fuel truck, and it'll just be parked in Smithville Dam the next time we come. I, I haven't decided yet, but uh, that's the plan. Thanks again for coming. Um, if you like it, of course, throw me a like, throw me a subscribe, toss me a comment down below, and uh, let me know if there's anything you'd like to see. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.